advancement in fusion research and experimentation was made right here in the Bay Area at the Lawrence Livermore Laboratory. KDV's Brooks Rose is here now after speaking with a scientist who worked at the federal facility for decades. Brooks. Well, thanks to that scientist, I'm going to break down what fusion energy is and what has potentially been achieved. It starts with a bunch of giant lasers that, when fired at once, mimic explosions of nuclear weapons, creating energy. Scientists inside the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory may have achieved something extraordinary, something they've spent decades trying to do, a nuclear fusion reaction that could create more energy than it uses. Wow. I mean, in a word, this is super exciting. UC Berkeley nuclear engineering professor Lee Bernstein worked on the project for 22 years. He says this is a scientific breakthrough and a step closer to clean, limitless energy. You almost couldn't advance beyond go without this sort of an event occurring. That event starts by beaming 192 lasers fired at the same time at a metal cylinder about the size of a pencil eraser inside a peppercorn-sized capsule of two heavier forms of hydrogen. There's the lasers coming in. It's the same idea, heating this up. It took so long and so much effort to get this drive right. The lasers radiate inside the cylinder. It's hot like the sun, millions of degrees. Then x-rays start flying. The hydrogen becomes compressed with precision. How do I compress this to 1 30th of its radius without making this happen? You don't. <laughs> they did that. The result is nuclear fusion ignition, generating extra energy as heat, what they call a net gain. They've been making small adjustments to many different aspects of the system in an organized manner to try to approach this fusion goal. They've gotten there, but they're not done. What they want to do next, I would believe, would be to make it more robust, more repeatable, using less laser drive initially. Bernstein says right now it only lasts 200 trillionths of a second. There's need for more experimentation. The benefit is there's no radioactive waste. And this development is one step closer to a clean energy future. I, I don't want to say the sky is the limit. Maybe that's a bit too, too, too overused, but I think there's a lot of possibility. Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory has not released its latest results and would not comment, but a spokesperson did confirm a major announcement by the U.S. Department of Energy is expected Tuesday. Greg? Brooks, thank you.